Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. I do have a Leo, Virgo, and Cancer only channel. The links to those are in the description box below. So if that's your sun sign, if you have it in your chart, or if you cross watch, feel free to check it out, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post if you're interested in starting a tarot channel or learning how to read tarot you can check out my tarot tutorial the link is below it's about two and a half hours long um, if you would like to book a reading the link is below and if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks I do have um, spirit shield tarot and oracle currently buy one get one free so it's a huge Vogo sale, okay, and then we've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is currently 20% off, and this is low in stock, ladies and gents, okay? All right, so my loves, I'm sorry that I look like this, okay? I apologize. I apologize. I don't even know what I managed to do with my hair here. It looks like a little Christmas bow, so I like it, so I'm going to leave it like that. But anyways, I look like a mess. I'm sorry. I had a lot of remodeling done in my house this week. My eyes are all puffy from the dust in the house. Um, and on top of it, Collective, on Sunday, I had someone very close to me um, attempt to hurt themselves. So guys, this full moon, whatever energy we're in, it's a little chaotic. So check up on your, I felt called today to just tell you to check up on your loved ones. It can never hurt to let people know that they're not alone and that you're thinking of them, okay? Just even a quick text message, all right? Um, okay, guys, let's get popping here and let's see what we have for the Collective. Spirit, tell me about the Collective, please. What energy is their person in? What energy is their person in? Okay, so we have possibilities here. We have obsession and we've got open heart. Okay, so uh, Collective, your person here is sitting in this energy of the woulda, shoulda, couldas. Okay, the woulda, shoulda, couldas. What if I would have opened my heart? What if I would have, you know, freed myself and allowed myself to love? You know, because what's happening here, collective, is you're dealing with someone that can't stop thinking of you. Okay, they can't stop thinking of you. And I feel like this is someone that would have said, what if I would have let my guard down? What if I would have been vulnerable with the collective? What if I would have been receptive to giving and receiving this love? Do you understand? We're dealing with someone here, collective, that lives their life on the edge. They're in and out of relationships. They call themselves a free spirit. They're always out for a new adventure. So when you meet this person, I mean, it looks like they are not ready to settle down. Okay, this is someone that's sitting kind of like in full energy collective. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, where they just want to bounce around from this person, that person. Do you understand? But I think that this person does this in a way to protect themselves. And they're asking asking themselves now, you know, what if I actually would have been open to the idea of love? What if I would have, you know, allowed myself to be vulnerable? What if, what if, what if, you know, um, I'm hearing that country song, you know, uh, there's a country song called what if, I don't know who sings it, but you're going to have to look it up. You understand? So, you know, this is someone that has a lot of doubts when it comes down to love. They have a lot of fear when it comes down to love and the way they protect themselves from these doubts and fears is they just come off as you know an f boy an f girl someone free-spirited someone that just wants to be a vagabond someone that just doesn't have any plans for the future um, because they don't want to suffer any form of disappointment okay but when it comes down to you collective the answer is, the question that they have is you know what if what if I would have just loved the collective back? What if I would have just opened up? What if, you know, and they, they, they just, they can't stop thinking of you, which leads me to believe that maybe you guys share some type of soul tie, okay? All right, we have the moon here. Tell me about the collective, please. We could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. Ace of Wands in the reverse. You may not be speaking to this person, collective, but it doesn't mean that with the moon card, things are not happening behind the scenes because I feel like this person is suppressing their emotions, okay? They are suppressing their emotions. There's a lot of things that this person has not told you. 
Five of Wands in the reverse and the star, Aquarius energy. Collective, first of all, this person can't replace you. Second off, this person knows that nobody compares to you. You are the star of the show. That's another country. This person may be into country. I don't know, because I'm there's literally, I'm hearing the star. I've never gotten that off the star card before. I'm literally hearing the star of the show, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a country song. Okay, can't think of the words right now, but I know that's a country song. With the Four of Pentacles and the Emperor here, this is someone that cannot let you go. Okay, they feel like there's no one like you. They feel like it was a blessing to have met you. Um, and the problem here is collective, is like this person wanted to just walk away from you and go back to living the life that they had before. It's impossible. You ever meet those people that just change your life and, and things just never go back to the way they were before? Some of you are sitting here saying, yes, the police. I've had that happen with the police. <laughs> Not the police, okay? I'm just saying like, you know, that some people just come into your life and change their life. And I feel like collective, you just changed this person's life. We could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, or an Aquarius, or you could be one of those signs, okay? Um, but this person cannot let you go. And with the Emperor, they're coming into this energy of maybe just thinking like, man, what if I did settle down? What if I did, you know, love someone? What if I did take a chance on love? Spirit, tell me about the collective, please. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So collective, I feel like for many of you, you haven't heard from, from this person in a long time. My nose is itchy. This person may pop out, pop out, pop up at your house. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, you haven't heard from this person in a while, collective, but they are sorry. They are sorry. I feel like if you're asking where have they been this whole time, collective, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? They've been looking for someone else. You know what I'm saying? They've been trying to entertain other people. But with the three of wands here, as you can see, this person is holding on to the relationship. They're, they're seeking third-party energies, but they, they're, they're realizing they can't let you go. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, with the, the three of, pen, excuse me, with the six of pentacles, this person is trying to ignore you and give their time and energy to other people. But with the five of swords here and the three of swords, all that's happening is, you know, they break these third parties hearts because nothing is coming of it. They end up just sabotaging the connection and walking away because they can't seem to get you out of their system. And they're realizing here, this is a problem. Like this is becoming a real problem for them. High Priestess and the Four of Cups. Like secretly here, collective, this person just isn't attractive. You know, even sexually with that Ace of Wands in the reverse, if we're talking about a male here, they can't get it up or this person can't get the, the if they're a female, they can't get the, the juices flowing for someone else. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like secretly, they just don't want anyone else but you. And I feel like this is a very difficult thing for this person. I'm not, I'm, I can't lie to you. You know, with the seven of cups, this person's like, what the hell is wrong with me? Why can't I be attracted to someone else? Why can't I, you know, this person just, they genuinely, you know, don't want to love you. I, I gotta, you know, be honest with you, okay? They don't want a relationship. They don't want to feel this way. And they're, they're truly running from their feelings. And I think that at this point, you know, they're starting to accept and ask themselves, you know, what if? What if, you know, I actually did settle down? Or what if I did, you know, open my heart to the collective? Do you understand? Tell, tell me about the collective here, please. We've got the Page of Wands, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. This person's coming in to tell you they can't stop thinking of you. They are coming in to tell you that they miss you. That's what they're coming in to tell you. But let me just make it clear when I tell you, this person does not want to love you, but they do. Okay? They do. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the moon card here for the collective and the Knight of Cups. 
tell me about the Knight of Wands. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Ace of Wands in the reverse with the Knight of Wands. See, this person is trying to be the Knight of Wands. They're trying to go out. They're trying to date. They're trying to just be that fool energy that I told you. Just go live a, a free-spirited life. With the Ace of Wands, this person ca cannot get sexually aroused by another person because with the Moon card and the Knight of Cups, you are in their heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are in their heart. Tell me about the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Star card here and the Ten of Swords. So I feel that collective, what's happening here is this person betrayed you very deeply. They did. They hurt you very badly and they know they did. And I feel like they want to apologize. You know, with the Star card here, they want to heal this because no one compares to you. Nobody compares to you. With the Ten of Cups here and the Four of Pentacles Collective, this is someone that has not let you go, and I don't care what you're seeing on social media. Do not come at me in the comments with, oh, you know, they're with another man, they're with another woman, I see them on social media, they married someone else, whatever. I don't care, okay? I don't care. The tarot is about what is within, not what you're seeing on Insta. You see what I'm saying? If what you're seeing on Instagram was enough, then we wouldn't be here, right? You understand what I'm saying? I am telling you, this person loves you, okay? They love you. They don't want to love you. They don't want to love you. They don't, but they do, okay? Tell me about the emperor, please. And the seven of wands. Yeah, you know, they don't want it. I'm telling you, they don't want to have these thoughts. They don't want to feel these feelings, but you know, it is what it is. They are going to come in and apologize for walking away. Tell me about this five of cups here. And the Nine of Wands, they're going to apologize for walking away, for blocking you, for being defensive. Do you understand? With the Justice card here and the Queen of Wands, um, this is somebody that may have, uh, how do I want to put it, given power to third-party energies over you. Tell me about the Justice card and the Queen of Wands and the Judgment card. Yeah, this is someone that chose third-party energies over you, defended third-party energies over you. But the problem here is with the Three of Wands and the Empress to the Emperor, I, I told you that there was a very strong Twin Flame connection here or Soul Tie connection. And Collective, so far, we have an Empress to an Emperor and we've got a Ten of Cups here. Okay? I feel like this person can go to the ends of the earth with these Queen of Wands energies. They are never going to stop missing their other half. Okay, the Emperor and the Empress are a true pair, boss bitch, boss daddy energy. You know, that this person feels like you are their other half, okay? And I feel that collective, this person does want to apologize for giving their time and attention to other people, okay? Tell me about this Five of Swords and this Three of Swords energy with the Ace of Cups. You see, this person went to all these third-party energies and all they did was cause these people pain because their heart belongs to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, and I, I promise you, Collective, I promise you that with the High Priestess, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups, it aggravates the shit out of your person. Because your person has options, Collective, okay? And they really don't understand what is wrong with them. Like, look at this beautiful specimen of a woman or, or man in front of me. How am I not pounding this right now like i don't understand but they can't stop thinking of you do you understand what i'm saying with that nine of cups energy like i cannot believe how good this person looks right now and they're right in front of me you know ready to jump on me and i'm just like not juices are not flowing here juices are not flowing because this person can't stop thinking about you do you understand with the ten of wands and the seven of cups this person is like you know they just they're like, they don't understand why, why, why are they, why is this happening to me? Do you understand what I'm saying? With the Ace of Pentacles here, the Devil and the Sun, I do feel collective that this person is going to come in and tell you how they feel. I do feel like they are ready to come in and commit. I feel like with this Devil energy, they're just like obsessed with you. With the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, this person wants to see if you're still single and you are. You're sitting in pre-Empress energy. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here 
and the hanged man. It has taken this person a while, but they have finally had their awakening, okay? They have finally woken up to who they're meant to be with. So trust me, collective, with the Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, you may think that this person is gone for good. They ain't. They, they, they ain't. Okay, they are not. You may think that this person has pulled away from you, that they want someone else, that they don't want to talk to you. You may be in your head, depressed, alone in your bathrobe, with mustard on your shirt, haven't shaved in days. This is it. They're not coming back. It's over between us. I prom. And look at this. We got the king to the queen of pentacles with the emperor and the empress. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it ain't over. I promise you it's not over. This person is currently, as we speak, going through some shit because all this person wants to do is go back to their old life before they met you, but life will never be the same for them since they've met you and they're realizing that now, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings. This mouse is giving me such a hard time. Hold on. Okay, there we go.